All right, so I was watching The Legend of Bruce Lee, season one, episode 34, at around the 27 minute mark on Netflix. And I thought, some of the stuff that Bruce is doing is kind of like June Goon. Then I said, no, he's doing a more of a lateral elbow than an upward elbow. And then it started giving me even more and more ideas. And rather than risk a copyright strike with showing the original footage, I decided to go downstairs and get the dummy and show what I actually, what I'm going to show you was not in the, was not in the, in the series, but it was inspired by me looking at some stuff in the series. So whether Bruce Lee would have liked it or not, G Kundo got me to think it. And I started thinking about this. So just for the sake of application, I'm just gonna do this sequence of moves in June Goo. This one here to this here. So let's say my attacker here is grabbing me with this hand, shaking me, and he's gonna grab me with this hand and start hitting me with this one, hitting him here on the face. What I would like to do is instead of using this as just the distance knife hand block, I'm gonna cover my head with this one so that he hits me maybe on the forearms and possibly on the elbow before I come up into here with the other elbow. So he'll be punching me here. I'm gonna use this elbow to block even both. After I do that, once I'm in close, so he pulls me in close, I'm gonna take this hand and hit him here with a rub hit on the side, on the, the front corner of his head here on gallbladders 13, 14, and 15 pressure points that are activated by a rug. So after I do that, I'm gonna grab his ear. Of course, this dummy has no ears. I use that to pull his head down or I could grab his shirt or hair to aggravate gallbladder even more and pull his head out. So with the next move, elbow, I come up in here and elbow in the stomach five. Now, a lot of conventional wisdom says that you can't get a lot of power elbowing up here. You can't get knockout power, but it is still a blow. If I've already aggravated here, I got his head pulled down, and then I pull into that, okay? So after I do that, then I can finish it up with some kind of throw. That's to the inside. If I wanna apply the sequence to his outside, outside of his arms, I got something that's simpler. If he's coming after me like this, I'll move off the line of the attack, jam his arms up here so that they cross over his face. And when he's turning towards me, I can turn and elbow here to the side. After I elbow into the side, jam, elbow into the side, then I can pull on his arm and trap it down, hit across here, with the same motion for activating gallbladder 13, 14, and 15 pressure points on the corner of his head, right? I can do that and then go to a hip throw, or I could just do this here, 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 and then pull the elbow again, okay? The thing is, I really don't necessarily need to finish it up with a, with a throw after I've activated these three pressure points here and the lung five pressure point under the chin. I mean, I'm sorry, the, the stomach five pressure point under the chin. Because the rule is if you've activated four pressure points in a row in the correct sequence, they're gonna fall down. Caution though with the falling, according to George Doman's books, there's a 10% chance you may not be able to resuscitate them. So be careful with this. But, I like to go all the way through and include a throw. I just assume in case I miss 
or I don't hit everything right. I'm trying to make it foolproof. But if you even get them to fall from this, you just stop. Okay, so, so I've gone here, come through here. If you don't believe in doing the, the hit on the pressure points, you could also replace this if you're more of a brute force person. Here, elbow, eye smack, smack on the eye. Well, instead of coming this way with the attack, you could use this as a palm strike to here too. So you hit palm striking here and palm striking here with the elbow. So now I'm just gonna finish this out with me actually doing something on the dummy. I'll do one to the inside and do another recording to the outside. So to the inside, he's grabbed me, he's hit me. So block, hit, here, take him down, and to the outside. Here, elbow, hit or rake. Elbow again, then we still this, use that to throw them down. Thanks for watching this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Please share this with people like to talk, talk, talk about the martial arts in peace. And as always, big free time. I appreciate it.